Hello, this is Jeffrey Fox again with the next lesson in this first unit on web search, which was discussing the components we find in information retrieval systems. And here we have a sort of architecture of an information retrieval system, which as I said is similar to a web search. Remember the queries around three words we had right at the beginning of this uh, unit, uh, a little uh, discussion of, of um, the number of time, no, the fraction of um, Queries with a certain number of words, they're around 20% queries with one word, 20% two, and so on. With three as the average. And then you need to take your query, represent it in some fancy fashion as a bag of words, and you do the same for the document collection. So you have all the document, there's a set, document collection, there's a set of documents which are searching. And each of those documents is represented by the bag of words. You compare your query as a bag of words with your document as a bag of words, and you get an answer. And you want to take that answer, which is far too many terms. Almost any query gives you millions or billions of responses, depending on how simple your query is. And you better, you know, people have more or less tolerance for searching through the results of a search, but you're not going to search more than. At least I don't think many people go past two or three pages. So you better get it in that top 20 if you're going to be lucky. And as we'll see when we come to um, precision and recall, it's better to have it in the top 10. Okay, this slide here tries to explain this concept of recall and precision, which is a key part of um, the the quality of a search engine. So you have a complete collection represented by this gray square here, which has all the world's uh, documents. And then you do a query. And if you had a perfect answer to the query, you get this green. Because there's not really a single green, there's going to be some darker greens, which are the best responses, the most relevant, and the light greens, which are only marginally relevant. But here it's very simple. We just put the real answer, which is the most important. Responses with that's this green thing called A. And then B is what you actually get. Hopefully, it has some relevance to A. And then we have two concepts. Recall, which is this little section here, which is um, the part that, uh, that is retrieved, which is actually correct, divided over the number correct, that is the recall. And then we have the precision, which is the number of. Um, of um, the number actually re re number of correct answers divided by the total number of answers. So you can obviously trade these off against each other. If you have a very strict search, then you may not recall so many. But if you but it may also be more precise because you will only get you know, very. Uh, if you have an answer which is a small circle inside the real answer, then the precision is 100%, but the recall is uh, smaller than that. Another important feature of, um, of web search is diversity, because these uh, <coughs> there is a uh, important feature that there are many ways of looking at a subject, and many ways, actually, where you might even give an answer, and um, you need to get responses for all aspects of the of a of a possible query. And so here is a 2012 um, blog post from um, Google, which says where they're actually improving their diversity. Um, and um, so that's just an algorithm which is um, which tended to give, uh, you know, like in this example here, the, Google, the previous Google program. Gave all the answers from a particular domain, where she should give some answers which went in the domain, and um, so that's just um, make certain that you get responses from lots of um, lots of different uh, domains. Okay, so that's one just an aspect of what you try to do, and if you look at search, it's getting better and better, and this is the type of you know. Third generation search improvement that's getting done. Now we have a short in the next uh, part of the uh, 
of this uh, unit, we'll discuss search engines.